Hello everyone, and welcome back to Warriors Untold Tales. We have a bit of a problem. Turn that back there. Um, my computers have been dealing with viruses lately, and I have lost the save file. I was on my main computer for Warriors Untold Tales. And unfortunately, we have lost Night Clan. So that series will no longer continue. But, I do want to try high playing Warriors Untold Tales still. So, I, I will be continuing Silver Star Harris Rogue Clan through another cat. One who is not a rogue born. But one who is, is currently living amongst the four clans already created. This cat? Her name is Moon Lily. And my Silver Star story will continue through her. So this is Moon Lily. We are three days in the leaf fall. I've only been playing for a couple of days. And currently she's a jack of all trades. She's working for Snowheart and she's working for Preyheart. Preyheart? Yes. In order to who become both a medicine ca head apprentice and a deputy's assistant. As you can tell, she's already gamed up quite a few who herbs and has already begun gaining reputation. So we. We'll be continuing through her. Unlike hey, with Silverstar, she he is starting a clan, and it says she'll be able to unlock Hawk the different than pelts through being in a clan and become a kitty pet and stuff like that. So we won't have the stick with pelts that have no pattern to them. Um, golden rod. I actually don't have any of that because that grows in Thunder Clan. Oh, bit of a hiccup. Um, a bit of backstory with Moon Lily is that she needs the daughter of a kitty pet and a clan cat. So she, she is not only a Thunder Clan cat, but she is also a part kitty pet. She has always yearned for the wild, however. And as a small all small kid, escape her two leg home and enter the forest, where Sky Star brought her home. And from there she was raised by a shine fur and became a respected member of the clan. Despite not being clan born herself. While well, Silver Star was Wing Clan and then got kicked out. Whoops. Um, I guess let's grab the orange spots. Fan making kind of jump around a little bit, as you can tell. Spacebar to save my progress. And so far, we need to complete. Oh, never mind. Space Okay, I already have. Never mind, I've already completed this. So I can become a medicine cat assistant as soon as we get 50 reputation. My goal with Moon Lily is to complete he both Deputy he Pray Hard's quest and Snow Heart's quest and become both a deputy's assistant and medicine cat's assistant if that's possible. 
And for him, we still need to complete two battle quests. So I've been hard at work trying to complete these. And we have to go defeat River Clan. She so far does not have an idea for who, who to be mates with. She's kind of a free spirit. So any of her shiny things that she's come up, up with and found are kind of in her little collection down there. And are either given to the kids or just kept for later on. She does not see any reason to have a matrix yet. I want her to unlock mo most, if not all, of the pelts before. I want to unlock most, if not all, of the pelts before. Or I'm moving on. I'm becoming a rogue. Uh, goldenrod. So most of the first couple of days, first couple of episodes, I guess, will be her trying to gain reputation. Bird feathers, so one clan. So she can unlock mo as many pelts as she can. All free. And I actually don't have any. It's getting late. So in the morning, we'll have to go up and collect confrey and bird feathers. Um, after we have unlocked many of the pelts, then she might move on to become a rogue. Um, Moonlily is not an only kid either. She has a brother and a sister. Who are both white cats just like her. Her sister is me. Named Luna. And Luna... Hello, come back. There. Success. Um. Luna and her brother Artemis are both kitty pets. And of course, they cannot be found in this game. Because you can only have one cat at a time, and. Yeah. There we go. There's some comfrey. Some across from there. She feels great pride in trying to impress her clanmates by getting lots of reputation and being successful in many things. Someday hoping to become leader. As she knows that kitty pads are seen as very weak. However, Moon Lily might find herself not liking being in Thunder Clan, and that she belongs somewhere else. Run, 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 run! Okay. She might feel like she doesn't belong here, and that she he should belong in another clan, maybe, or. She'll become a successful leader one day of her own clan. I won't know. No, until the time comes. I 
I am also going away. Hey, on Tuesday. So the, this is probably going to be hey, one episode and then a huge break like it was at the last series. So unfortunately, this might be the last you'll see. Hey, a moon lonely for a little while. Golden rod. We have one of those. Still. She has already completed medicine cat qu enough medicine cat requests, but she still needs to get fifty reputation. So she'll be jumping between so Snowheart and Preyheart. To gain missions. Uh, Wooden Clan? She needs to go to Wooden Clan, actually. Um, let's. Okay, we don't have enough yet. Personality wise, Moonly is more of the friendlier her Thunderclan cats. She's not out for. She was more into uh, her medicine cat duties over anything else. She is not had by. Um. She is not. Not that it's braver than the th as other Thunderclan cats would be. She is more or less just there. Think of maybe Fi Firestar when he first started up. His personality Holly during the first couple of books. That's basically her. And she's only been a warrior for a couple of moons. So she hasn't quite gotten used to her warrior cat duties. However, she's still trying very hard to succeed. She stay he's up late. Does duties for the her the deputy. Does duties for her the medicine cat and even works for the kids. And she herself wishes to have kids one day. Hey. And to have her own family. However, at the moment, she he wants to build up her reputation with the clan more than anything else. S sorry about that. Anyway. Moon Lily herself has her own goal. This goal, well, it's not reachable at the moment. She does not have enough experience as a warrior, nor has any followers at the moment, other than one, her best friend, and her only true friend, who was actually her former apprentice. His name is Rivertail. Well, during her first move, Moon is a warrior. Skystar felt that she he should be able to take a hunt an apprentice. And she did. He became a successful warrior. And became quite successful. And he himself has become quite the strong fighter.
she should go get more horse tail. River tail and her there are very close friends and he fall he thinks that her goals for the few future are actually quite a good ones. Her goal is to da -da 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 -da. She has a dream Name of creating a safe haven for kitty pets and learners to feel home. She fe feels that kitty pets, learners, and rogues are disrespected by the clans. And she wi- This is to me- to create- Oh, hey, it's Ember. Unfortunately, I don't have the reputation. Yeah, I need 40 reputation to go through her to the, to, to the kitty pet place. But she feels the shadow clan uh, that the clans do not respect had learners, kitty pets, and row hooks much, which is kind of true. They are seen as as weak for for not being in clans. Her own clan is not quite quite like this, but some of the other clans are. She was accepted despite being a kitty pet, but during her apprenticeship, she's found herself most struggling. She was often bullied by other cats. But, she's made quite the name for herself, becoming a mentor here during her first moon as a warrior, successfully completing every task that she was given, and, and has gained the respect that she deserves from her clanmates. But that doesn't change what she feels. However, she is not much of a leader either. As her as her personality is that she's kind, caring, and shy. And she finds other warriors and cats especially ones that are older than her, unapproachable. And she has- he struggles to, to create conversations, or even be friendly with them. So there are not many cats that she, he is close to. Rivertail, her former apprentice, is- and Sky- That was close. And Sky Tar- he star. And even Snowheart, the man's a cat apprentice, are really the only ones that she feels close to. So she is really struggling. Maybe as she gets older and gains even more her reputation, then she'll feel more at home here. Even though she was taken in and raised ever since she was a kid, she's never fe felt wanted. And those many low hunters and rogues are not hot wanted hidden clans. They are normally not accepted. She was only accepted because she was a young young kid. Um, part of her, she is off. However, while she is a Thunder Clan cat, she cannot make her goal true. Because she wants to follow the warrior code, even though oh, some parts of it might be a little unfair. She feels the need to help, help cats who are in trouble, not help kill cats. Cats are damaged them, so a medicine cat had duties or more of her thing. However, she dreams of having kids one day, so she has never become a full medicine cat and an apprentice. She does, however, her wish to be able to learn some knowledge of her so she he can further follow her goal. Goal of helping other cats, not injuring them. Even though, oh, as a clan cat, she has to. Especially while working with a deputy prey hard. And she hopes that if she creates a safe haven for 
for cats, for no, everyone can be, be for, can be at peace with one another, and not have to keep fighting. Then she'll be happy. However, there is a high chance that, that will not happen, and she he will have to fight eventually if she makes his goal true. She's not, not exactly a pure white cat either. Her description is that she has blue white fur, with a pure white face that needs underbelly ch and chest and the underneath of her tail. She ha has darker blue who silver markings. Streaks that go from her eyes to her cheeks, paws, ear tips, and tail tip. And her eyes are purple. She is not she is known to be a very pretty cat. And she has two toms that are kind of looking her way. But she's not ready to be a queen yet. To have a mate. She feels that having a maid at the moment, especially while she's still very young, will take away from her duties. And as such, has not, not decided on becoming Having a, uh, is not decided on who she wants to be a mate with yet, or if she wants a mate in general. Um, <laughs> it's been a while since I've done this. It's a little difficult to talk, especially when I'm not really talking to anybody, other than my microphone. Um, let's Actually, she doesn't want a mate just yet, but she should probably work on her friendship hey, with Sun Lake and Sand Lake. This means I I'll also have to unlock Sand Lake's pelt if I do this. Uh, I had to go for her, for him as her maid. So who, if she ends up dying, then she can carry on with Hunnit through her kids. Still, we just went and got out and got some. Shiny object. Bird feathers. So we have to go and get some bird feathers. Okay, there's no heart the horse tail. Let's actually take river tail with us. So we can do some hunting along the way. I feel like Moon Lily is more drawn to the moor of Wind Clan than the forest of Thunder Clan. 
it's much more open, and she can see a lot. Plus, yeah, she really does like rabbits. So maybe her safe haven would be along the moor. Depending on if she can find a safe place where the clans won't attack her. Her safe haven might only ha come true if she created her own clan. And as such, she might not be able to go without go without a few battles and invasions from other clans. Shame thing. She's getting hungry as well. So she should go back. She can actually it's very soon she can actually very soon get in that medicine cat trade. But I want to get oh hey, hello Ringla. But I do want to get a few more reputations, so I'm not so close to not having any at all. Um, I think that's okay. Pretty reputation. Ta-da! And now, we can heal. Probably need herbs on the inventory, I'm going to assume. Oh, yep, use herb to heal. Let's see, how much does that heal? Okay, they healed the half. Okay, this herb heals a little bit. So she's gonna have to collect a lot of herbs to be able to heal herself. Okay, that's interesting. Um, and I think after I run out quickly and grab a couple of things for her, her future maybe mates, then that'll be the end of things. Things for today. Let's just grab. Even if that doesn't really do much. And... Stone, I guess. Currently, their friendship has only raised a little bit on those two shiny things. She hasn't worked on their friendship in a while. Not, er, not at all, I guess. So she still has a long way to go. Hello, do I know you? And... Thanks. And...
that'll be the end of today's episode. Um, like and comment, and I guess subscribe if you'd like to watch some more. Um, see you.